I wonder what happened. I wonder where it cut off and what's going on. Because I have just been rattling on about this compost bin. Oh no, we'll go back over it. Pine straw at the bottom or a material that takes a long time to break down. Some leaves, cardboard, shredded newspaper, brown paper bags, grass material, pa uh, paper towel. If you don't have a lot of uh, newspaper, only um, black and white print, no glossy stuff or anything like that. Sand has to be wet down. Here's material that is not broken down enough. This should have been crushed up really small. I like to do it in a plastic bag with a rolling pin. And this is the material that the worms have been working on. So when this bin gets wet down and it's saturated enough, I will pull the worms from here and put them in with the goo. And then they will turn stuff like this and all of your household waste into the black gold for the compost tea. And so this type of material is what I'm after. The really dark, broken down stuff doesn't have too much salt material. Never uh, put salt from your kitchen scraps in here. And they could tolerate a little bit of citrus and a small amount of spicy stuff, onions, garlic, that type of thing. No meat, cheeses, or anything like that. If you want to compost that type of stuff, you know, put a pit out back. So I'll grab all of this big stuff that hasn't been broken down, put it over here to hold that to go into the new compost bin. And then I will uh, store my worms over in that bucket until that's thoroughly saturated and ready to go. And then they'll be dumped all in a corner together with some new stuff to munch on. Worms like to be in groups and both are male and female and they reproduce very quickly. And uh, I don't know if you could see them, there they are. But as soon as they start catching the light, they wanna, they wanna take a dive. So that's basic, you know, add some sand to help their digestion, like the chick chickens need the granite, they need the sand to get everything to run through their system and keep it natural. And a couple cups of this will be added to a few gallons of water, quite a few gallons of water, probably a tub that size, and the unsulfured blackstrap molasses, rainwater or well water, nothing with chlorine. Same thing when you're wetting down a new bin, no tap water, no chlorine. And, and that's that. I don't know if this was on how this video was working out, but I drilled holes in the bottom with the largest drill bit that I happen to have available. And um, I'll go over and I'll show you the drill and the drill bit and explain the chuck and, you know, how it tightens down. So that's your little tool right there. It comes off of the drill and you insert it in here and that loosens this chuck and you could change out, you know, your drill bits. So I chose the big one. I put a tray underneath that to catch all the juices and add that to the tea as well. I decided to put some of the basil sprouts in there and cover it with some salvaged plate glass from the building. And then an old shower curtain, dollar store shower curtain. It's gonna provide just a little bit of shade. It, it, it was all, it was supposed to be overcast today. So I didn't mind doing the transplant earlier in the day, but now they're getting pelted with sun, so I decided to block it out a little bit. All right. Hope you enjoyed playing with poop with me. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.